Heavy hips. Keep pressure in it. Look there ahead. Go. Good. Now fuck that bitch. 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 Now fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Hey yo, soccer girl chat. It's you are, you are Okay, so I have a life hack for us crazy girls out here. We know that Instagram recently took away the following tab. Now we don't know whose pictures our man's is liking. So here's what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna need to go on your computer and log into Instagram. You're gonna go to your man's page and to who he's following. And on your computer, it will show you who he followed in order, like who he recently followed will be right up at the top. Unlike on the app where it's just all out of order. So now that you're there, you see that he's followed a new girl recently. So you're gonna click on her page. If she's not private, then you can just go look in her pictures and you know your man's name will pop up first. You know how Instagram does that. And if she's private, you're gonna need to go on your second Instagram, because I know you have one, and you're gonna follow the girl. And you're gonna go see if your man's been liking her pictures. If, yeah, okay. <laughs> Put a finger down, crazy girl edition. Put a finger down if you've ever checked a guy's snap score because he wasn't replying to you. Put a finger down if you've ever checked a guy's location because you didn't trust that they were being honest with where they were. Put a finger down if you've ever gotten mad over a guy liking a girl's picture. Put a finger down if you've ever checked their Instagram and who they were following and got mad at them for a girl following them. Put a finger down if you've ever went through your boyfriend slash girlfriend's phone while they were sleeping. Put a finger down if you've ever drove by your boyfriend slash girlfriend's house to make sure they were there. Put a finger down if you've ever went somewhere intentionally knowing somebody would be there that you wanted to see. Put a finger down if you've ever texted a homie or one of his family members asking where he was or what he was doing. Put a finger down if you've ever DM'd a girl who followed him or liked one of his pictures telling her to not mess with your man. Put a finger down if you've ever vandalized some of your ex's property after y'all broke up. Put a finger down if you've ever called the police on your ex. If you put any fingers Oh, shit, she about to run, is that? Boy, you better run. Throw his shit out, baby. Yeah. Did that the prescription just fall out of her part? Please have snake bites. Please have snake bites. Yes! What's up, baby? You single? This girl's hot, but I heard she's a little, like... You know I like him a little crazy. I do love crazy chicks. Don't look at that girl again or I'm gonna slap you, Steve. So, like, a little psycho. I want her mad at me for things I didn't even do. Mm. Something hot about a girl with just a few screws I loose. like a show up at my house at 3 a.m. uninvited Ooh. because I didn't text her That's back. That's what I'm talking like, about. Like, something's not right up I here. I need, like, a one wrong move and she's keying my car. Ooh, that controlling type yeah, vibe. Yeah, like, I'm almost scared to go into my own yeah. home. Yeah. That's hot, being, like, mentally ill. I need my girl to be held in solitary confinement <laughs> because she is a danger. To the general just public. Just a wide-eyed, crazy, obsessive bitch. You know the chick that just sawed her husband's penis yeah, off? lucky him. That's the type of energy Shows I Shows that she cares. Oh, yeah. But I need, like, a borderline demonic Sexy, bitch. dude. <laughs> like, that's just... turns me on, dude. It's hot, I dude. need my girl to just be spiritually disturbed. You know, not cool with the man upstairs. I need... Story time with Matt, part four. So, I was at the beach with my girlfriend at the time. We live, like, five minutes away from the beach. I live in San Diego. And we just took a nice little dip in the ocean. I didn't think anything bad was gonna happen, but Mr. Stingray came out of nowhere. He said, ooh, let me pop you in the foot real quick. So he popped me in the foot, and I'm in a lot of pain. My girlfriend's deep in the ocean, and I start hobbling out, and she's like, whoa, what's going on? I know it's these two girls that were on the beach, and they're like, hey, Matt, do you need any help? Before I could even say anything, my ex-girlfriend now, she was like, no, nah, he's all good, don't touch him. And I'm like, what? I'm trying to get to the lifeguard. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm bleeding everywhere. It was just not a good situation at all. Then the lifeguard starts wrapping up my foot. And then my girlfriend was getting mad at me because the lifeguard was female. And she was like touching my foot to like wrap it up. And she was getting mad at me because the lifeguard was trying to help me out. But she was touching me and she was female. I didn't know what to do. Okay, you're all right. Get him. Get him, girl. You're a good girl. There you go, turn his head. Like a teddy 
better say. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? There's some rumor going around that he's paying out big cash for somebody to go beat up Black China. Would you do that shit? Oh, what happened to your car? Oh, I left you a little love note with my keys. Oh, well, you surprised me by sleeping with a whole ass another woman, so I thought that I would surprise you. You know, tit for tat. What? Oh, your tires. <laughs> well, I thought that you would like them how you like your women. Flat. <laughs> of no substance. Um, <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, your clothes. Well, uh... I was feeling cold, you know, I wasn't really feeling any love. So what I did was I burned them, <laughs> just kind of warm my heart up a little bit. Um, but you can come get the ashes. You can come clean your shit up. <laughs> yeah, no, C crazy. Why, thank you. I've been telling you this entire time not to fuck with me. But I hope you have a good day. Consejo para los chicos. Lleven siempre una foto de su novia en su cartera Porque cuando tengan un mal día pueden decir Si puedo con esta loca, puedo con todo So I called your phone last night And you didn't pick up So I was like, oh my god, maybe he's busy or whatever And then I checked your snap score <laughs> And it went up four You should go look at your car So the boy I've been talking to just asked me if I wanted to sleep over. And I'm actually scared he's going to hold me hostage. But I'm shaving my legs and then I'm on my way. So I called your phone last night and you didn't pick up. So I was like, oh my god, maybe he's busy or whatever. And then I checked your snap score. <laughs> and it went up four. You should go look at your car.